This is the second video in uh, these series of videos on writing chemical equations from a different perspective. So in the first video I gave you, uh, the, the first video involving hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, I gave you a series of steps. Okay, it's a recipe. So four main steps involved in writing chemical equations. Let's do another example now. Let's suppose I give you uh, magnesium plus nitric acid. And I'll tell you to write, not only to find the products, but to write the chemical equation. What would you do? Step one, identify the reaction. Always identify the reaction. Step one, magnesium, that's a metal. Okay, on its own, magnesium is a metal. If you give me a magnesium ribbon, it's magnesium. I can tell by um, its properties under the microscope and so on and so forth. That's a metal. That's an acid. Now, by definition, acid plus metal gives you salt plus hydrogen. It's not water. It's hydrogen. Why is that? Well, if I put a um, strip of magnesium in um, acid, like nitric acid, I will get a salt that's formed and bubbling. Okay, hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas is formed. No, step number two, let's identify the salt. The salt, remember, is an ionic compound. It's a metal plus non-metal. I hope you're getting the hang of things, um, the steps involved. It's really not difficult. Just follow my lead and just practice. Practice non-stop every single day. Don't, don't do two examples. Do, I don't know, 10, okay? The metal, if you look at the reaction, we've identified the metal. That's magnesium. So we'll write magnesium plus the non-metal is the ending of the acid. So the nitric becomes nitrate. Remember, the sulfuric acid, it's sulfate. Nitric acid, the nitric acid, it's nitrate. And hydrochloric acid, it's chloride. These are your three main acids. That's the salt formed. Let's now write uh, the chemical symbols using the periodic table. So I'll write it here, move this away. Magnesium is just Mg on the periodic table. Okay, I didn't memorize that, I used the periodic table. Plus nitric acid, you need to know this from memory. It's HNO3. Okay, that's another common acid. Nitric, think of nitrate. Nitrate is this ion here, polyatomic ion, NO3. And acids have hydrogen in them, H. So that's why I sort of commit that to memory. Makes salts, which is magnesium nitrate, we'll write magnesium Mg. Now the salt, we need to write the ions. And uh, magnesium, the magnesium ions, so magnesium is in group two, it's a metal, plus two. And nitrate is NO3 minus, you need to know this polyatomic ion, it's got a minus charge. If you forget in an exam, just think magnesium is plus, nitrate has to be minus, okay? Plus Hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is H2. It's a molecule. Okay, just like um, oxygen, O2, it exists as a molecule. Okay. Step four, let's tidy up. Tidy up means it's write them um, in the form of compounds. So it's really just the same thing. Magnesium plus HNO3 nitric acid gives you. Now the magnesium and the nitrate, you combine them. Brackets around the nitrate. Why? Because it's a compound. Okay, a compound means the nitrogen and the oxygen are stuck together. They're not separate. The two comes down to here. It becomes a subscript. Okay? Because you need two nitrates, two minuses. Minus one, minus one is minus two. Minus two plus two is zero. Okay? And you get a neutral compound. That's what a salt is. It's neutral overall. Magnesium nitrate. That's another way to think of it. But the rule is, crisscross, you bring down the two. The minus one stays. Okay? You don't bring it down. Plus H2. And that is a reaction. It's magnesium. Okay, you can check your answers too using the product table. Magnesium plus nitric acid gives you magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen gas. Okay, that's an example of an acid metal reaction.